Hello, 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 hello. John Mason, how are you doing? I decided to change it up a little by uh, taping at my in my kitchen this time. How is everybody out there? Hope we're doing well. I hope the country's doing well. I always worry about the future of the country. What? But with the uh, Sen Republican senators uh, either uh, too deep in Trump's pocket, uh, Lindsey Graham, Ted Cruz, or the wobbly ones, Mitt Romney, Susan Collins, <coughs> whether whether they have the backbone or the brains to understand that this sorry ass excuse of a human being lurking around the White House should be impeached and he has been impeached now he has to be convicted and removed and, then, and never mind Mitch McConnell the Senate is not Mitch McConnell's personal property it belongs to all of us the people we have to let the people those senators know that we the people insist that Donald Trump be removed from office. And it's an interesting twist that Trump's own former national security advisor, John Bolton, with the most impress, impeccable <coughs> war, hawk, uh, <coughs> war hawk tendencies, who also evaded uh, ser combat service during Vietnam, as did Trump, he has come out with a book talking about his time in the Trump White House, talking about how Trump definitely did try to pressure the Ukrainian government in exchange for the military assistance that so desperately needs to fight off the, fight off, uh, the Russians invading their country. In exchange for uh, any information, any data, any slander against uh, Joe Biden and Hunter Biden. No facts, just slander. That is how Trump operates. Slander, insult, with no good purpose. And lies, outright lies. Last count, according to the Washington Post, it was over 16,000 lies so far. It's a disgrace, total disgrace. How can we trust this sorry excuse of a human being? No honor, no integrity. A man who cheats on his wives, he cheats on his taxes, he cheats on his business dealings, he cheats on his golf. That's our president. That is the person we expect to do honorably for the American people. Just one crime on top of another. They also have to talk about the economy. They talk about how well the economy is doing. Like the Dow Jones Industrial Average getting over 29,000 votes. Whoopee! Does that benefit the working people of this country? Not at all. Philadelphia remains the poorest big city in this country. There are still people out on the streets. There's still... A, 50 to 60 million people, working people with jobs, going without health insurance. One accident, one illness, one cancer diagnosis away from, from a humongous hospital bill. But we're supposed to take it. No, we won't take it. And for too long, too long, decades, <clears throat> ever since Nixon, ever since Watergate, so many pundits, so many media have urged us to not think about it. Idealism, positive thinking, banding together for the common good, all silly, idealistic, liberal nonsense. We have to be realistic. That's, this is the reality we face. A corrupt government, disconnected from its own people, in the pay of 
plutocrats and corporations willing to take um, funding from foreign, uh, foreign, foreign oligarchs to stay in power perpetually. No. No, we mustn't accept that, and we won't. I urge you, when the time to vote comes in your state, please get out and vote. Wherever you are in your country, <clears throat> get interested, I urge you, in the presidential primaries, whether it's uh, the Iowa caucuses or the, or the primaries or however you do in your home state, get involved in it. And get involved, as, particularly in your own uh, cities uh, and municipalities uh, issues. Like in this city, we have a terrible problem. In Philadelphia, we have a terrible problem of um, of schools loaded with asbestos. And just a terrible state of dilapidation. Asbestos and mold. Unfit to occupy, let alone for kids to sit and study. How can you study in that, situ in that, that environment? You can't. And you'll be, and kids will be going out sick and missing school from the conditions in their school where they're supposed to learn. I ur urge you to educate yourselves about your local issues, educate yourselves on national issues and international issues, and get out and vote. That's all for now. I'll be back. I'm going to do my part. I urge you to do, do yours. Thank you. Have a good day.